A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. If it is worth reading, I am interested. All our books are worth reading. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones, that's the plan at least. Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no, there isn't one for today. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I want it to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to... I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book. It was Hulk's. Oh no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. All right, I made my decision. So, what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for Book Club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. Can you give me a quick summary? It's about war. Come on, Hunter. I cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I do not know. How would you say it stacks up? Stop. Right now, or so help me, I will ban you from book club. Anyway. Our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. 
Uh, nah, I'm good. I admit, I like the low-pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. What did you think of the meeting? Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think of Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. Kunis ad sepulchrum, nam hoc in hora, tut le contra inferna vocat. Agatha, what are you doing? Casting a protection spell over the abbey. Now that we are in possession of the parchment of power, we must be vigilant in guarding against its influences. What can I do to help? You can't. This is a very rare form of sorcery, practiced only by those who have passed from this realm. But you can watch over the others. This spell will only prevent the worst type of harm the parchment can inflict, but can't stop it from making mischief completely. Mischief? What sort of mischief? There's no way of knowing for sure. But if there's one thing I am sure of, it's this. The words etched onto the page were written by Cathan himself. Not even my magic can silence them. They will affect us, if only in whispers. I mean, they're probably affecting us right here, right now, and won't stop. Not until Stark finally manages to nuke it from space. Then there is hope. There sure is. But until that happens, we need to protect ourselves. Speaking of... I should really finish this incantation. The spell cannot be completed without it. I will leave you to it then. Sleep well, Hunter. If you can.
hell ride is ready and waiting. Tension's so thick I could claw it to shreds. Something, or someone, is going to snap. Did you hear Tony and Strange arguing? Who's next? Parker and Nico? Seeing good troops lose their minds not knowing if a tank was going to mortar their bunkers, but seeing seasoned enhanced heroes walking on eggshells is a new... We ain't built for this. I disagree. We can still defeat my mother. No. You and me doing this? Living weapons ain't designed to relax. Can make a fella downright resentful. It is hard to take it easy when the world is falling apart. For me, it's like there's always a blade stuck in my side. When I relax, it's like I can feel it twist. How do you handle it? Same as you. I go looking for a fight. Does it work? Not always, but it's enough to dull that blade. Charles tell you I like these. protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? After the traitor Blaze betrayed me to that demon, Robbie would not leave my side. Ileana tore through reality itself to find me. I am here now because of their actions, not yours. Then for once I am grateful to them. Still, I fear you have traded one problem for another. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on a mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You are right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. 
If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. I just wanted to say I appreciate you leaning on me out there in the field, but I feel you deserve fair warning. Associating with me too much can be hazardous to your health. Hazardous? What do you mean? I mean Sabretooth. He's killed everyone I've ever been close to. Girlfriends, co-workers, casual pals. He even killed my mail carrier. You have faced many hardships, and yet you have overcome them all. I don't like to dwell on the past. Same. Nothing scares me much these days, except getting close to people. Because when I get close to someone, bad things tend to happen to them. So, I guess what I'm saying is, thanks for being a pal. And watch your back. <sighs> no, that can't be. I had that dream, too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. This stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neuroses? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here. And that's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? I'm here, if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I'm pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is, what I saw last night made me worry about you. I am more worried about you. Riddled with nightmares, suspicious of friends and colleagues? The page is getting to you. The page is not getting to me. Everyone had the same exact nightmare last night. If anything, it's getting to everyone here. It is possible. The full effects of the Parchment of Power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So... You are not going to read it. Hell no. And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. Because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. The page most likely tricked him into believing the outcome was destined to be in Lilith's favor. And that's why I'm not going to read it. Like, ever. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do. What is everyone so upset about? A nightmare. We all had the same one last night, and it has unnerved us. Wondering if you had the same one too. Would be weird if you were the only one in the Abbey who didn't. Mm. 
No nightmares here. My slumber was quite serene last night. No offense, Hunter, but you're full of it. As in, I am full of sweet dreams? You would be right. I doubt that. Funny, though. Everyone dreamed about you last night, but you didn't dream at all. Wonder what that means. Wait, the dream was about me? What do you mean? Let's just say you... Uh... Something threw you above us. Your face twisted in what could only be described as extreme agony. And that's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to freak you out. I mean, it was just a dream, right? Probably. Everything will be all right. I just hope you're all right. Nightmare or not, it's shaken us up. Wanda, I promise you, it was just a dream. How can you be so sure? We should probably stop talking now. Everyone is staring. They are staring? Yep. They really are frightened, are they not? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, everyone here is just as afraid of me as they are of you. The parchment stays are numbered, Hunter. Come down to the forge. Once, I dreamt that I grew four more arms. Come on over, Hunter. I'm slinging some hot, fresh parchment blasting tech here. Is this it? Is this the thing that will destroy the parchment? Well, you better believe it. That's the gamma accelerator. Plus a few tips taken from dear old dad's notes. Plus a few crucial adjustments. Plus some revolutionary new tech created on the fly. Are you sure it will work? I'm sure you've got a million questions. Come to the war room and you can hear my full spiel. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. How's it going, boss? I'm trying to assume it was Lily. Don't prove me wrong, Hunter. It was all a dream, right, Hunter? Uh, next time, could you dream of literally anything else? I'll even take one of those dreams where we're all late to class, and it's test day, and we're all in our pajamas. You know, the usual... Mirror table, our pulse on everything Hydra, really brings an Avengers Tower vibe to this place. It has been useful. The Abbey always harbored great resources, but Stark and the Doctor have enhanced its abilities tenfold. Don't get me wrong, Tony and the other Steven are great, but I believe in giving credit where credit is due. You've also been doing your fair share, and I wanted to let you know that it hasn't gone unnoticed. That is a generous compliment to give. Thank you, Captain. It's not generous when it's true. They say a good soldier should always trust his gut. And if my gut is right, and it's almost always right, I think you have a destiny beyond just defeating Lilith. And what destiny is that? Keep playing it straight with me, Hunter, and maybe I'll trust you enough one day to tell you.
a good hunter. Unless we're not. But we are. Time to take it to the next level. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. that another one of my bro Central is ready to work. Let's crunch the numbers. I know we can't control our dreams, Hunter. Maybe we can help you learn not to share them. To help. I don't like these apocalypse willies. I don't think the others have any nerves left to fray. Bye. Coffee makes the bad dreams go away. Trust. Seems like everyone had a restless night. I hate to ask this, but are you all right? Why? Do I look like there is something wrong with me? No, not at this moment, but... The dream... I mean, nightmare we all had of you. The one everyone had but no one will tell me about? Let's just say you should be grateful to have your collar to protect you. Protect me from what, exactly? Your mother, Hunter. Who else? If it wasn't for that collar, who knows how she might be able to manipulate you? I wouldn't put it past her to invade your dreams, the way I think she just invaded ours last night. Or maybe these dreams you had are just the parchment's influence. No, Hunter. It was more than that. I felt her evil presence. I can still feel it lingering. Sarah, have you considered that your sister is not as bad as you like to think? No, I haven't. And I can't believe you would even suggest something like that. Maybe I was right to be worried about you. <sighs> Sorry for snapping. It's just... <sighs> In any case, best to keep our wits about us. I just don't want anything to happen to you, kiddo. Do you remember the bells, kiddo? When you were younger, I could barely keep you out of that tower. I don't like to say that I do my best work under pressure, but I think this time, I even amazed myself. This is impressive. You did this work incredibly fast. Chug a few Stark drives and there's nothing you can't speed through. Hopefully the sugar crash doesn't hit me while we're destroying the page. If you manage to stop the prophecy, I will be the first to sing your praises. So you're promising karaoke. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hunter. This thing won't fail. What about your father's research? Do you feel comfortable using it as the basis for this... canon? I'm only perfecting the stuff he started. It's like I took all the skeletons out of my family closet, dusted them off, and now they're going to do community service. Is it powered by skeletons? Don't worry, figure of speech. No actual skeletons in there, just massive amounts of gamma radiation. Our friend Banner thought he was gonna use it to get supercharged. But this thing's gonna shut his team down, permanently. I really hope you are right. Defeating Banner would be a nice bonus on top of destroying the parchment. Well, more than anything, I want him back. Back on our side. Where he belongs. I don't think this thing can grant all my wishes, but it can't hurt. So, what now? Now comes the hard part. Explaining my plan to the team. 
I wonder if I have time to whip up some diagrams. People love diagrams. You're looking stronger than... This your first Tony Stark patented last-ditch reeks of desperation Hail Mary plan? Only reason to listen to Tony is to get directions to the rap party. You believe the cause is lost? Didn't say that. Didn't not say that either. I've seen the world end a few times, and I'm still here to talk about it. That is not saying much. You have a healing factor. We can't all be born as unlucky as me. Lilith has marked us all. I am tempted to say our fate is in her hands. Fate. The other F word. Scoff if you would like. Lilith believes in destiny. The problem is, we believe in our own destinies too. You sound like Steve. My words are my own, not Captain America or Lilith's. Steve's a good thing. Especially with what we gotta do. One thing we can agree on, hell ain't coming. Hell is already here. And look who it is. You are a cute little shapeshifter, are you not? Oh, who's a good kitty? What have you been doing, Ebony? It'll take more than Lilith's my ex to shake my faith in you, Hunter. Now, I know a lot of you aren't used to the scientific method. So, take a breath, let it all soak in. I can talk you through the really complex parts. You want to shoot the indestructible page with a giant ray gun? A giant gamma ray gun. You can't just blow up the parchment of power with gamma energy. It isn't done. He has a point. Look, you and the Hocus Pocus crowd had your shot. Now, it's my turn. Mine and Howard's. Your father's research. Pops wasn't trying to weaponize gamma energy. He was trying to supercharge it into an almost unlimited power source. Should probably thank Bruce for helping me realize that. Problem is, gamma energy has a threshold. Push it too much and it goes boom, big time. Enter Los Diablos. Birthplace of the Hulk. And the last time somebody tried putting Pops' theories to the test, Entire area is still saturated with that same modified energy. If I can channel it through my accelerator cannon, well, that gamma field page of yours... Will... go boom? Big time? Bingo. Huge time. We're gonna need a tremendous amount of power. And not just gamma. Yo, Lost Boys. And Lost Girls, saddle up. We need you. Sabretooth's still out there. They ain't going nowhere without me. The more the better. Somebody's gotta clap when I thwart the apocalypse. Again. Stay focused on Tony's ridiculous plan. 
I'll keep an eye out for Hydra. Your enthusiasm is infectious, Saren. What's the word, kid? Nothing. Nothing is definitely the word. Oh, well, nothing's good. You don't have the Abbey masking you in that page right now. Just keep a safe distance a little longer until we're ready here. With even one blast, my Gamma Cannon will drain the ambient Gamma energy from this entire valley. This is gonna have to be a one-shot deal. Then don't miss. Got that part covered. This is by far the worst plan I've ever been part of. And I've done jobs with Deadpool. Robbie cannot hide that page forever. If there is any chance of removing that burden from him... Huh. Speaking of... Yo! Fast and the Flamius! What did I just tell you? Stark! Power up that damn ray gun! What? Stark! Multiple targets! Close it on your position! That ain't Robbie. Activated gamma collectors now. How long do you need? How would I know? I just invented the damn things yesterday. Then keep going. We will hold the line. Stark. Too smart for your own good. Ignore the others and follow that page. It's time I return home. If you could go ahead and stop them from attacking the highly volatile Gamma Collector, that would be fantastic. Feel free to come down here and throw a few lasers at them. Yeah, sure, no problem. And while I'm down there, which one of you is going to initialize the accelerator to fire this thing? Fair point. We will hold this position as long as necessary. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait. me again. for you.
Got some backup coming. You sure about that? Getting real tired of running into you, Creek. Maybe you but let me just give me another pair. You should know that by now, Logan. Tired of hearing about your mama, too. Agreed. That will do. You make an excellent partner. He's coming in. Moving on me. What's your status up there, Stark? It's getting warmer. Keep fighting. You better not be dragging your feet. How does one drag their feet in the air? I'll explain later, kid. The light is on our side. I feel better already. for this fight. She knows your every move. Lilith has put a great deal of trust in your nemesis, Logan. Yeah, she really knows how to pick him. You sound big. I chose you, like Logan. 
I'm nobody. I leave that to suckers like you. Just what I need. Ready? That was some... Crude, but effective. That looked like it hurt. You do not know who I am, do you? I think we've given you just about enough time, Runs. I'm getting bored with this group. I am impressed. This was it, boss. I think we're ready to rock and roll. You don't get it, Runt. There's magic pumping through these veins now. You got that right. Hold on. Guys, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep this up. Then don't wait on me. Get another deal, oh please. What did Lilith offer you? Gas mileage? Not quite. Return. Tried to avoid this mess, you know. What? I 
And y'all had to do things the hard way. <laughs> you were right, kid. I am a coward. Been running from this moment my whole life. World's really gonna beat this thing, it'll need someone strong. Like you. Dr. Banner's other side? The horns are new. That's not all, Tony. I'm finally seeing my true potential through Mother's eyes. <laughs> oh, serve the Mother again. cannot possibly match your strength. know Bruce will try and ride the lightning. We needed a way to destroy the parchment, and I gave us one. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. You see, this guy gets it. to the fray. Your mother abandons you. better when the big version only used single syllables. I'm sure it was to your advantage keeping it down. Now, Bruce, that's just 
mother protects me. You know what happens when I get angry. Mother will always shield me. Mother will wait no longer. Mother has perfected. their plans. Hulk, please, no smash. Fighting a god! I'm taking him down before we can do it again! Just need to- All these years, Tully, letting you think you were my equal, I could have squashed you so easily! Hulk will deliver the page to Lilith, just as it was foretold, just as she planned all along. All right, because you're telling me she orchestrated all of this? My mother always gets what she wants. With the dark hold in her grasp, there is only one thing she is missing. 
me.